I am gaming. I am gaming. I am gaming podcast. Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on the latest episode of I'm Gaming Podcast. This is a podcast about the video game industry, entrepreneurship, pop culture, and so many things I find to be in the same realm of business and creative ventures. Like always, a huge, huge thanks goes to my patron supporters who make this podcast possible. Without them, I wouldn't be able to create any of these episodes. And to all of you who do support me on Patreon, Thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate it. For everyone else, please check out my Patreon page as well. This episode is all about a new, amazing, in my view, TV show called Severance. It's made by Apple TV and it's truly a masterpiece of both visual design and narrative building and creation if you're into mystery, sci-fi and unnerving horror that this TV show brings. It's directed by Ben Stiller and it basically presents a story of a present, an alternative present, where people have the ability to basically sever their personality into a person who goes to work and a person who lives the rest of their life. It's kind of an alternative reality type of setup. Everything else is pretty much the same as we have it today. However, this element is what sets this universe apart. Of course, the main thing is not actually the severance process, it's the process that takes place inside of the work environment, the innies, how they're called in the TV show, the persons or personalities who are actually created or split for the purpose of only working in that same environment. The job they do is really disturbingly odd and kind of pointless they're not aware of the same process or what that process is actually intended to do on a global level. They're simply doing what they're called in the same series, micro data refinement and a team of four individuals is working in the same kind of division. They're headed by Mark, who is the main character and who is played brilliantly by Adam Scott. The rest of the setup, the cast and crew is amazing as well. Patricia Arquette is amazing. Of course, John Torturo and Christopher Walken both act in the same show, which is excellent. Uh, Brit Lore as Halle is also really, really impressive and really engaging with her kind of downtrodden but still very explosive style. Of course, the bottom or rock bottom, uh, which is the basis of the entire show is actually the writing in my view these that's the ground on which the pillars of this whole show are set and it's written really well the dialogues are amazing the premises and ideas are really really excellent as well because they're showcasing a process a set of events that is basically taking place in some form of purgatory or some other biblical i would call it space where things are kind of focused upon really gently and easily from a standard show on work environment a standard space for colleagues to engage in some kind of menial work but which quickly transcends in some kind of religious or philosophical terms into a space in between spaces where potentially something truly tar- horrible and terrible is taking place. Again, the show is incredibly well written, but it's also incredibly well recorded and shot because it looks amazing. It uses the dynamic and the visual aesthetic of the game control and it's really reminiscing in my view of control and it has that minimalistic design which further further gives it another breath of freshness when it comes to simply looking at the shots, looking at the action taking place in the series. So the aesthetics are amazing, the writing is amazing, the narrative setup is amazing, much better than you might first think of when you see the trailer and kind of try to figure out what it's all about. The trailer looks like a dark comedy or something in that genre but it's not, it's much better, much bigger than that even though it has its comedic elements. However, it's a must watch for me, 
most certainly the best TV show I found in 2022 and probably the best TV show I've watched since Evil, which is uh, an amazing, amazing TV show in my view, which also has a lot of religious connotations to it, so maybe that's my kind of a thing. In any case, do check out Severance, it's an excellent TV show, still season 1, it's going to get additional seasons, I'm certain, and it deserves to do that. Give it a look, it's on Apple TV, and it's, yeah, for sure one of the best TV shows on TV right now, in my view, the best I'm watching presently. So that's it for episode 122, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for listening, please check out my Patreon page, please leave this video or this podcast episode a like, I would love to hear from you if you're watching and or heard about Severance, so leave a comment below if you do, have a comment, and that's all for this episode, thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you on episode 123 in precisely 7 days from now, until then, bye bye.